Hey guys, good morning. Changing out an exhaust fan motor on the exhaust fan right behind me. This serves the first floor and second floor restrooms, okay? I will take the cap off and I will show you guys what I mean by the motors locked up. Here we go. Okay guys, I had taken the lid off and as you can tell, there's this rust look to the belt. When I was here on the first maintenance, I noticed this. So instantly in my mind, the motor hasn't run in a while. Well, it is free. It is free, okay? These bearings are permanently sealed, so there is no greasing or oiling, okay? And same with the motor itself. Okay, so let's turn power on and hopefully you can hear the noise. As you can see, it wants to turn, but it will not turn. So there may be a problem just with the start winding on this particular motor, but we don't go inside these motors and fix them internally. We just replace them, that's all. Okay guys, I was able to put my meter on one of the legs in there. Now, it says 6.6 .6 amps. So if we go above that 6.6 .6 amp range, that's bad on the motor. So we currently have power on. Motor's not running at this time. We do have power, but I believe there's a dead spot in the motor. point three amps okay we are definitely locked up let me turn this power off okay and as you could tell we're free and clear so the motor is bad everybody now I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect power completely from it and then mount the new motor up on here so let's get that going okay guys a little tech tip always try to check your rotation before installing all your wires, especially when something like this is this tight. I actually just ended up cutting off the old leads because most likely they're they're just a uh, little corroded. I want a fresh piece of copper to go with anyways. Well, in order to check rotation, okay, rotation, counterclockwise, okay, CCW, okay, you can interchange red and black leads. Okay, that'll change the rotation from one way to the other. Now, I want them to match as the old motor. Okay, I can see that black wire and there's the red wire. Okay, black looks like it's on number two. I see down in the corner right below the black. And then red's on number five. And the new motor, you can see, are different. So I'm gonna interchange, just pop those terminals off and reverse them real quick. And that'll be good. And then we can go ahead and wire this in up on the fan how it sits. Okay guys, just like that, I reversed the leads, red and black, reversed them. Okay, next we can go ahead and mount, mount the electrical in through here and put our wiring back on where it should be. This is a 115 volt motor. that's up underneath inside that impeller. Now, it can change airflow dramatically, also amp draw. Be sure to start by cleaning. Okay guys, since I disturbed all that debris that was caught up underneath, there's still a little remainder in there. If I turn this fan on, it's probably gonna puff out. So I'm gonna, after I flip the switch, I'm gonna run. Oh, yeah. Yep, dusty. Very dusty. I don't want to breathe that in, people. That'll change your amp draw and airflow, definitely. Definitely. One time I was at a body shop working on an exhaust fan that's been down for quite some time, and it was caked up with probably 10 pounds of that Bondo and uh, cleaned it out and oh my God, it was like a mushroom cloud up on the roof. Okay, so after we started this up, 
5.4, 5.3 amps. What do we rate it at? 5.8 amps. 5.8 amps. So we're underneath that, which is excellent. Make sure we're on here good. There it goes. 5.6, 5.7, okay. Well, it's still under the rating, so that's excellent. Okay, guys. I gotta put this back together, put the lid on, and uh, wrap up. I got a refrigeration, um, I'm sorry, an air conditioning circuit. I gotta fix it in another building, so. Well, all done. Have a good day. Thank you for watching. Hope you're learning. Stay safe.